Hey everybody, it's Amanda, and it's time for a grocery haul. Aren't you excited? So people have been asking me what our grocery budget is since it's just Rick and I now, and the fact of the matter is we just don't have one. Which is not to say that we're not being cheap, because we are. <laughs> Rick and I are naturally the cheapest ones in the house. And we pretty much will stretch everything that we have and just eat leftovers and we're totally cool with it. It's a lot easier since it's just the two of us. Um, but that being said, we're not, we can stretch what we have for like ever. So I'm not going shopping every week like I was when we had, you know, so many people in the family. So I actually, I mean, I have so much meat stocked up, you guys. It's not even funny. I almost never need it. The only time I'm actually going to the store is every once in a while when we need stock up items and like vegetables. And so that's, we went today to do that and I thought I would share it with you and we spent, let me show you the receipts. I went to my discount store and I went to Food Lion and at Food Lion I spent exactly $42. And at the discount store, I spent $30.35. So I've spent $72.35. Very easy math. I don't even need a calculator for that. So here's all what I've got. And you can even see included in that total is cat food, a big bag, and some paper towels. So that $70 includes the non-food items as well. So we're probably spent... I don't know, about $55 in actual food items. And like I said, that's gonna last us probably, I mean, at least a solid week or two, um, depending on you know how quickly we use things. But anyway, so let's start with these non-food items. And we got all of these at our discount grocery store, which did not have very much. I was really hopeful that they would have some produce today and they had almost nothing. Um, so this big bag of cat food was $12.99. And this, um, container or I guess package of paper towels you can see right on the side here it says it was $2.99 so those are the non-food items and then over here I got some packets of ranch seasoning which they were four for a dollar and then some brown gravy mixes they were two for a dollar Rick actually got this horseradish sauce at another discount store I don't know, a few weeks ago and uh, he really liked it so we saw this there it was $1.50 and we picked it up we're also going to try this organic stevia sweetener. Um, really trying to watch his health right now. It's just been what it is. But anyway, 70 packets of it is was $2.99, so we picked that up. We have these uh, Barilla Angel Hair Pasta. We also have a Ditalini, uh, one of my favorites for Pasta Fajol, and all of those were a dollar each. And then we also picked up some instant mashed potatoes just to have on hand. You never know when you need it. Um, $1.50, pick that up. So everything else on the table came from Food Lion. And by the way, quick shout out to Food Lion because their prices were actually really, really good. And uh, I could just gotta say, uh, I've been shopping at Ingalls a lot for years and the prices right now are so crazy and Food Lion was significantly better. So good job, Food Lion. Anyway, first up here we have this frozen broccoli. I did look at the fresh broccoli, but didn't look that great, and frozen works well. It was $1.29 for a one pound bag, so I got two of those. Right here at the front, you can see raspberries. You guys, I am addicted to raspberries right now. I'm not kidding you. I'm buying them as much as humanly possible, as long as I can afford them. They're $2.99, and you can even see Rick and I already kind of ate them up. This was our snack, <laughs> so, so that was that. Um, I got this big container of organic baby spinach, and that was $5.29. Also got a cucumber here. Um, they were only $0.59, cents. pretty good deal, so glad about that. Avocados, there's three of them in the bag. Um, they were two for $1.09, so it was two eighteen dollars for all three of those. Back here in this bag, which you can hardly see, is a giant hand of ginger. Um, it was actually $2.99 a pound. I paid $1.35 for this hand, so we're gonna have that for a little while. Onions, they were actually on sale. There's a bunch of little ones in there, but I mean, a lot of times I'm cutting onions right now for Rick's sandwiches for work. So, I mean, the little onions are fine for that. It was $2.79 for a three pound bag. Back here, you see he's got some grape tomatoes. I'm not a huge fan of them, but Rick loves them, $2.79. A head of cabbage. You know what, that lasts forever, 
works really well for us. It was 99 cents a pound, that was $2.66. Three pound bag of organic russet potatoes was actually only $2.99. So let me tell you something, that's a great deal. Potatoes are like, what is, what is going on with the prices, guys? Um, these gourmet macaroni and cheeses. All right, so it's just Rick and I now, and he likes grown up kind of mac and cheese. If you're gonna, if we're gonna get the box stuff, this is the only kind he likes. They were actually on sale two for five dollars, so I did pick up two. And these Taste of Inspirations, I think, is a Food Lion brand, and they were actually really good. Also about the Food Lion brand, heavy whipping cream. Listen, listen, if you have bought heavy whipping cream lately, the prices are outrageous. It was like seven dollars for one this size for a pint. I couldn't believe it. Could not, or this is a quart. Could not believe it, you guys. Could not believe it. But this one was only $3.79. And that is why I got the big one. <laughs> because the prices for heavy cream are crazy. Anyway, that is what I got. That's it. That right there. I mean, and this should tell you. If I am spending $70 on just this, prices are out of control, you guys. Well, like I said, it would have been $55 for the food items. But still. I mean, that's that's a lot of money for just two people. So it's my haul. And like I said, you can see very clearly that it's, it's just like side items and stuff. Because my freezers are literally full of meat. We still have tons of chicken that we butchered. I don't know if you can see it in here. Right here. There's some in there. At the bottom there is some ground turkey. And this is my freezer that's in my kitchen, you guys. Okay? I got 20 pounds. I don't know if you saw. I put it somewhere. <laughs> I think I did it on one of my stories on Instagram that Brian, for my birthday, gave me 20 pounds of grass-fed beef. I haven't even touched it. I haven't had one of those pounds yet. It's literally sitting up in my freezer. More chicken. More chicken. Oh wait, more chicken <laughs> and turkey. And then, oh, there's some butcher box beef. And down there is frozen fruit, so that's not that exciting. But look, more butcher box meat. So I mean, I've got so much stuff in here. Like in terms of meat, I do not need to buy meat for a very long time. Not for a very long time. But oh, by the way, speaking of butcher box, I'm gonna throw it out there to you if you're interested. Right now they're doing ground beef for life sale. I'm gonna put a link in the description box if you're interested. Hit them up. Hit them up. It's a good time to get it. But anyway, but I I don't need to buy any meat for a long time. I just need to like make the best use of what I have. So anyway, so these are my fresh veggies. Waiting for the garden time. Waiting for farmers markets. Maybe we. I don't I don't think we'll get any better deals. But if we grow it in the garden. That'll be a better price. So that's what we have. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Even though it's not like the cheapest grocery haul ever, you know, times have changed. Times have changed, have they not, from my first grocery hauls? My kids have grown up. Prices have changed. The world is just like, what? Have you seen my original grocery hauls? I'll put it up here. You can check it out and see the prices then. Very different from prices now. I'll put, in fact, I'll, all through the all through the video. I'll link a bunch of old ones. And you can look and see, wow, man, I got some good deals. <laughs> she did. I wish she could get them now. She probably can. Um, and but, you know, let me throw you out here too. We're not buying water bottles anymore. Another thing, because we have our Berkey. So that's another thing we're not buying. So like, and I still have, you guys, I'm gonna throw this out here to you. I still have, this is just because we haven't caught up in a while, so I figure you need to see all of the things, right? I still have a bunch of flour and a bunch of pantry items that I got from Azure Standard. Like for real, rice and uh, sprouts and seeds and all kinds of flour down here, you guys. In fact, I actually got um, some Mylar bags from Wallaby Goods because some of that flour, I wanna make sure that it doesn't go bad, it doesn't go rancid. Um, so I'm actually gonna put some of it in Mylar bags and put some oxygen absorbers in them because if you seal them, it can last like up to 25 years depending on what it is that you're sealing, putting oxygen absorbers in and putting it in a container. So I've already ordered them, they're here. I haven't even opened the boxes yet. Um, so we're gonna try that. And I don't, Wallaby, I've got my boxes right here. 
right here by the stove that we had the, the, the top cracked and we could not order the replacement top. Yeah, we could probably order it now, I just haven't. Um, anyway, <laughs> these Mylar bags, I'll let you know when I, when I use them and you can see how I store everything so that it'll last. Because between Rick and I, we are not even gonna come close to using all that flour up anytime soon. <laughs> We've gotta make it last, especially the way the world is, y'all. You know what I'm saying. So, but I'll let you know how that goes because those wallaby ones, you can use like a hair straightener to seal it. You don't need to use a food saver. So I know you might wanna check that out. Anyway, all right, that's it. We're caught up and it's a grocery haul. And that's that. Rick and I have been thinking about doing a um, Q and A. So if you have any questions, put that in the comments too. Cause you know, think there's been a lot of changes around here. Maybe you have some questions, let us know. We'll see if we can answer it. All right, that's it. I am doing a food diary of today. And so you can check that out and uh, see how we're like living our life now. <laughs> anyway, all right. You guys have a great day. Thank you for joining me for a new and just different <laughs> grocery haul. And uh, oh, there's my husband. Hello. It's just the two of us. I know, I know, all alone. It's great. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.